Hello everyone, welcome back to Edible Abundance Homestead. I'm Ginger and today is July 9th. So I'm sitting over here on my porch steps to show you what I still have going on in pots. Um, I didn't intend to have pots of plants at this point in the season, but here we are. So, um, these are mostly staying out on my porch because it's nice out. Um, I do move them in if we have, like a couple days ago we had some storms pass through. My biggest concern with them is more that the wind might blow them over and dump the whole pot um, and kill the plant just because, you know, from getting dumped out and me not realizing it if it happens at night or even during the day if it gets dumped over and dries out. Um, so anyway, so for the most part they're outside all day and all night. Um, unless something passes through and I feel like they're in danger of getting dumped. Um, so what we have here, these back here are the cucumelons that I started that had such a slow start um, to germinate and kind of some slow growth. Um, they're about ready to get planted out. Uh, this one I want to get planted out soon because it's starting to send off these little tendrils that it'll use to grow the trellis. So I want to make sure it is under the trellis so it can start growing. This one's a little bit behind it, um, but I'll probably plant them all, them both at the same time, just for ease of getting out there and just planting them at once. Um, the trellis I'm gonna plant them on was the one was one of the ones that had peas on it. And um, a few days ago, I put some alpaca manure out there to help, uh, you know, give the soil a bit of a boost. Um, even though the peas are legumes, so they should have uh, helped fix nitrogen anyway. Um, so in one of these cucumelon pots, I had a couple little plants start to grow that were clearly not cucumelons. Um, I thought maybe some weed seeds had blown in, but I didn't pick them right away. And as they started to develop their, um, first set of true leaves, I came to realize they're ground cherries. So my ground cherries, this, this is my first year growing them and I had a, a hard time getting them to germinate and grow and survive. Um, I think I probably started about 30 seeds and ended up with about six plants. Um, I don't know if that's typical for ground cherries uh, or what, that's not typical for my seed growing experience. It's definitely the uh, lowest success rate I've ever had with anything. Um, but anyway, so it Turns out when I planted the cucumelon seeds, I just grabbed a couple pots that I already had inside that already had dirt in them um, that, you know, some nothing had grown in for one reason or the other, put in the cucumelon seeds, started watering them, and then ground cherries started growing. So um, I will plant the ground cherries out in the garden. I'm going to let them get a little bit bigger. I think they're going to be borderline as far as producing much before it gets too cold for them, but it's worth a try. Um, even if I get a handful of fruit off of them, that's something, it's better than nothing. I have some space I can stick them in. Um, so that's the plan on those, the surprise ground cherries. Um, these are flowers that my kids started at a little uh, children's garden event um, that they had. They got to start flower seeds. So those will get moved into their little garden box that's in the yard that has flowers in it, primarily flowers in it. You know, I stuck an extra little tomato plant in there. I should go see how it's doing. I forgot about that. Um, and then last but not least, these uh, uh, empty pots that just have dirt in them, um, I put bean seeds in last night. Um, so my plan for them is to get these. These are contender bush beans. They are a pretty quick variety. I want to say like 45 or 50 days. Um, and they're going to go where the garlic was. And I'm pretty sure I'll still have space over there to start some fall crops in the next few weeks. Um, even with the bush beans in there. Um, so I am starting to think about my fall garden. Um, I need to double check my first frost date and all that kind of stuff and make some plans. I should probably be starting um, some things like broccoli and cauliflower and that sort of thing inside in pots soon. So I really need to get a plan made for that. 
Um, I've grown, this year's the first year I really, I really had good success growing broccoli. Um, the cauliflower, I had one cauliflower head and I don't know if it's because there was a few worms that got into it or what. It had some bad spots on it that kind of tainted the whole thing. So we'll see. Um, this is really the first year I've successfully grown them, even though tr I've tried to grow them for the past couple of years. And that was spring. Um, so winter's, you know, fall is going to be, you know, a new experiment, a new attempt with those guys. We'll see how it goes. I need to, um, I want to make sure that I start the seeds at the right time and get the plants set at the right time and that sort of thing. Um, I will definitely be growing lots of greens, lots of root vegetables. Um, I just need to come up with a plan for them. Hey cutie. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> um, we'll definitely be growing some beets in the fall, right, Ab? Mm -hmm. Love. Mama, what? Yeah, what? Can I let Harry down? Yes, you can let him down. Um, so anyway, I need to do some solid planning for the fall garden. Um, the garlic's out, so that gives me some space, and then I'm going to start some stuff inside. There isn't much else that's really ready to come out yet as far as summer crops, but I want to make sure as soon as that starts happening that I know what I want to plant, when to plant it, and that sort of thing. So it's time to kind of sit down and uh, get all that figured out. Um, I am going to go probably do some weeding and possibly plant out those cucumelons. We'll see if it, it might not happen today, but in the next couple days it needs to happen. Hey, buddy. You say hi? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching.